Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your host, Alexandra, aka Japal. I'm in the building. <laughs> Hope you guys are well. Hope you guys are something juicy for you guys today okay it's not the common um you won't you won't hear this everywhere but this is a revelation that god has given me and i want to share it with you guys it's about moses okay so in this video, I'm diving deep into the concept of alchemy and how it transforms our lives. But what's even more fascinating is my belief that Moses, yes, the Moses that we know about in the Bible was a master alchemist in his time. And I want to share with you guys why I believe that, okay? So this video is going to be referenced from the Bible scripture, Exodus chapter four, from, from one to 17, all right? So I'm referencing this, this um, revelation, this information from the book of Exodus chapter four, and verse 1 to 17. Grab your Bibles and let's get into it. So I have done some extensive research and discovered incredible insights into Moses' journey and his ability to perform miracles. From transmuting ordinary objects into supernatural ones to leading his people through the wilderness and it all points to his mastery of alchemy. So, All right, guys, in the book of Exodus chapter four, from one to 17, let's read. And Moses answered and said, but behold, they will not believe me, nor hearken unto my voice. For they will say, the Lord had not appeared unto thee. And the Lord said unto him, what is that in thine hand? And he said, a rod. And he, and he said, cast it on the ground. And he cast it on the ground and it became a serpent. And Moses fled from before it. And the Lord said unto Moses, put forth thine hand and take it by the tail. And he put forth his hand and caught it and it became a rod in his hand. That they may believe that the Lord God of their fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob had appeared unto thee. And the Lord said furthermore unto him, put now thy hand into thy bosom. And he put his hand into his bosom. And when he took it out, behold, his hand was leprous as snow. And he said, but thine hand into, sorry. And he said, put thine hand into thy bosom again. And he put his hand into his bosom again and plucked it out of his bosom and behold it was turned again as is as his other flesh and it shall come to pass if they will not believe thee neither hearken to the voice of the first sign that they will believe the voice of the latter sign in verse 9 and it shall come to pass if they will not believe also these two signs, neither hearken unto thy voice, that thou shalt take of the water of the river, pour it out upon the, the dry land, and the water which thou take out of the river shall become blood upon the dry land. Verse 10. And Moses said unto the Lord, O my Lord, I am not eloquent, neither herefore, herefore <laughs> nor 
since thou hast spoken unto thy servant, but I am slow of speech and of slow tongue. Verse 11, And the Lord said unto him, Who had made man's mouth, or who made the dumb, or the deaf, or the seeing, or the blind? Have I not, uh, have, have not I the Lord? Now therefore go, and I will be with thy mouth, and teach thee what thou shalt say. And he said, O oh my Lord, send, I pray thee, by the hand of him whom thou wilt send. Let's stop there. That's when God gets upset with Moses for, com for making excuses. Okay? God said, you will do it. You will do it. <laughs> you can't run from God. Anyway. So, in my previous video, I made a short video. If you go back into my videos, you will find it. I said that you have a rare spiritual gift. You have to learn how to use it and control it. At the time God was revealing to me this, as we speak, um, what we will say, uh, alchemy. Because alchemy is like a form of transforming something, okay? So, um, when he showed me, when he showed me, when he gave me the revelation of the... The rare spiritual gift that many of you have, he was speaking about the ability to turn negative energy into positive energy. You do it all the time and you probably don't, don't even notice. You don't even notice that you do it. And it's a powerful tool because when we as children of God, we undergo a lot of warfare especially when the enemy sees your star or he sees you you're about to break through into something he sends a lot of warfare your way and we as uh people of god some of us we have tapped into that spiritual gift to turn what the enemy sends our way and um turn turn it into positivity which is the word of god it says um um, the Lord will turn what the devil meant for evil. He will turn it around for good. That is transmuting energy. That is turning what the enemy meant to harm you, to hurt you into good. So instead, it will work in your favor. So let's continue with the revelation I received. I'm reading from my notes. So if you see me looking down, I'm reading from notes that I have. Okay. Thank you again for joining me and watching this video please watch the video to the end sometimes the end is the best part sometimes i leave the prophecies for the end sometimes there's very vital information at the end of the video so you want to watch this video in its entirety all right i thank you guys for joining me on this journey and subscribing liking the video share it with someone and let's just continue in this passage we have just read, okay, Moses encounters God through a burning bush and receives a divine mission to free the Israelites. However, when Moses expresses doubt about his abilities, God provides him with a series of miraculous signs to prove his power, all right? Now, while these signs might seem supernatural, it's fascinating to explore them through the lens of alchemy. Many ancient alchemists strive to master the transformation of base metal into gold, a process that symbolized the transformation of the human spirit. Could Moses' encounters with God represent his journey as an, alchemic, as an alchemical practitioner? Alchemy often used symbols and metaphors to conceal its secrets from the uninitiated. By studying these hidden references, we may unlock a deeper understanding of Moses' alchemical abilities. <clears throat> One symbol commonly associated with alchemy is the serpent. As we see when God told him to take the rod and throw it down on the ground, it turned into a serpent, which represents transformation and rebirth. In the story of Moses, when he cast his staff to the ground, 
it transforms into a serpent. Could this be an, an alchemical, alchemical <laughs> metaphor for Moses' ability to manipulate matter and energy? Alchemists often use staffs as tools to channel their power and intentions. Moses' staff becomes an instrument through which he performs miracles, such as turning the Nile water into blood. Ancient alchemists believed that they could manipulate the elemental forces of nature, and Moses' alchemical staff could serve as a similar country. Another, an another intriguing clue lies in Moses' encounter with, with God's voice coming from the burning bush. In alchemical text, fire holds a central role symbolizing purification, transformation, and the generation of spiritual light. Could this burning bush represent an alchemical furnace, a place where Moses underwent an inner transformation and gained spiritual enlightenment? Just as alchemists aim to transmute base elements into gold, Moses sought to transform, transform sorry, a nation's destiny. His interactions with God, characterized by miraculous signs and symbolic language, may very well reflect his proficiency in alchemical arts. While this theory remains speculative, it offers, a it offers us a fascinating perspective on the origins of Moses' power. Perhaps ancient alchemical practices played a more prominent role in shaping history, religious figures, than we previous, previously taught. I want to thank you guys for joining me on this journey through the intertwining worlds of alchemy and biblical figures. Remember to like and subscribe to my channel for more intriguing in explorations into the mystery of alchemy. And until next time, keep on seeking knowledge and unlocking the secrets of the past. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.